vision field micro vision go to project select new micro vision project give a name to your project select the target board our target board is lpc 2148 board click on this lpc 2148 and click on okay then it will ask copy startup dot s to project folder and add file to project you have to click on s because we require some startup files okay so a target is created with a source group now we have to open a editor open a new editor in this editor we are going to type our program here i am going to paste the program which i already have okay pasted the program and then we will save it save it with dot c extension okay after this go to source group and then right click select add existing files to group here you select your uh, c file that you have just saved new l was our add and then close it okay now the next thing is go to target click on options for target here click on target tab and then you have to check this box that is use micro lib micro lib is a library which we have to select for arm processor programs okay then go to output tab here we have to click on create hex file this is required because we are going to dump the hex file onto lpc 2148 then go to linker and then tick this use memory layout from target dialog then click on okay so three things you have to do in options for target once this is done uh click on build the program building is like compiling the program okay okay so our program uh, doesn't have any errors warnings are okay once this is done then we have to dump the code now before dumping the code let us minimize this and then go to what is known as flash magic on flash magic this window will open flash magic is a tool with the help of which you will download your uh, or dump your hex code onto lpc 2148 board okay so this is required to dump your code onto the board here we have to select some settings the first one is go to that uh, there you can see step 1 step 2 step 3 and step 4 let us start with step 1 in step 1 click on select okay here you have to click on you have to select the board that you are using we are using arm 7 so click on arm 7 under arm 7 go to lpc 2148 so this is our lpc 2148 and then say okay after that uh, the next thing that you have to enter is the com port the com port uh, is the port with the help of which you are going to dump the code onto the board so for that you have to first see which com port has been selected by your uh, pc for that go to device manager in device manager you can see ports com and lpt go to that tab 
and you can see that com port uh, 4 has been selected so you have to give the same port uh, you have to enter the same port here there is a drop down menu so from drop down menu you can choose the com port that is selected by your pc then you have to select the baud rate because here uh, we have installed a uh, usb to uart driver whatever communication happens between your laptop and the uh, device or the board is uh, through a synchronous serial uh, communication so for that we have to select baud rate we have selected the baud rate of 9600 that is fixed by this cable for this cable and then there is something called as interface the interface you have to select it as none we are not using any interface between our laptop and the board that is why we have to select uh, none as the interface then this there is something isp that you can see isp indicates in system programming the meaning of in system programming is that you can program the flash memory of this lpc2148 without removing it from the board okay so that is called as in system programming that is step 1 and then you have to make sure that the oscillator frequency is 12 megahertz after that go to step 2 in step 2 click this uh, erase all flash plus code rd code rd the meaning of this is every time you dump a new code the previous code is erased okay then uh, coming to uh, step 3 step 3 here we have to select uh, the path of the uh, path of the file that we have stored in our keel uh, window for that go to browse okay here uh, you have to select the path i already have a lcd.hex file so i am going to select that file once you select that you have to select hex file only because you are going to dump the hex file onto board select the hex file and say open so when you say open the path will be taken by flash magic okay the next thing that we are going to do is come to step 4 in step 4 you have to click on verify after programming the meaning of this is when you dump the code onto the board the hex file that is dumped will be checked with the hex file that is created in your laptop so that is what verify after programming Okay, so once all these settings are done, the next thing is you have to start putting the code onto our microcontroller board. This is how we have uh, connected our microcontroller board with the help of USB cable. You can see there is no interface between laptop and our board. Okay, now before uh, dumping the code, there are two things that we have to do. There is one switch that is called as ISP which will enable in-system programming. ISP, as we know, is in-system programming. So first, push this ISP button. Then, click on uh, reset button. Okay, first, uh, release the reset button and then release the ISP button. So this will enable in-system programming. Okay, so once that is done, then click on start, which will dump the code onto the board so here you can see the code is being dumped once the code is dumped click on this reset button and you can see the message oh so we haven't connected the cable at all to lcd once you click on this reset the message gets displayed on LCD.